in this video, we need to know that a circuit is a conducting path around which electrons can flow, and resistance is the opposition by an electric circuit to the flow of electrons. Resistance is measured in ohms. There are three different factors which affect resistance. The type of material of which the resistor is made, the thickness of the resistor, and the length of the resistor. Because of its cost effectiveness and durability, we're using 2.24mm galvanized steel wire in this example, which we know has a resistance of 40 ohms over a 1km distance. An electric fence can be wired in two ways, series or parallel. In a series wired fence, the wire strands are connected at alternating ends, resulting in one long strand. The current flows along it like this. In a parallel wired fence, the wires are joined at intervals along the fence and at both ends, so the current on the line looks like this. Let's see how this looks like on the fence. Now remember what we said, that the resistance of the wire is directly proportional to its thickness and length. The longer the wire, the higher the resistance. And the thicker the wire, the lower the resistance and the further you can go with it. With series wiring, you have one long wire which results in a higher resistance. With parallel wiring, you have the same length of fence line, but being all connected together, you effectively now have a thicker wire with a lower resistance. To calculate the resistance on this one kilometer, four strand series wired fence, we would say the resistance on each wire is added together to get the total. Knowing the resistance of galvanized steel wire is 40 ohms, then the sum of these strands added together will give us a resistance of 160 ohms. In comparison, the 1 km parallel wired fence, where the load is shared over 4 lines, this makes it a fraction, and thus the equation will look like this. And the resistance will be 10 ohms. So we can clearly see by the equation that a series wired fence will have a much higher resistance, and we cannot wire a long distance with it. It is perfect though for security fences, where we're fencing smaller properties, but require better sensitivity from the fence. When one wire is cut, the circuit is broken and we get a notification on the monitor. Parallel wiring is generally used on agricultural and wildlife fences, where longer distances are required. If a strand is broken, it will not affect the integrity of the fence. A combination of parallel and series wiring can be used on the same fence line, should one want to do a longer distance but also incorporate security. We hope you found this video helpful. If you would like more information, please visit us on our website.